Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On this week's show, I'm the guest of Jim Burton and Flowers River Lodge, and it's late season Atlantic salmon. The water's low, it's clear, and the wind is high. We'll talk about what you need to do to overcome these obstacles. It's gonna be another great one, so stay with us. We'll be right back. On today's show, the new Fly Fisher crew is in the majestic mountains of Northern Labrador on the Flowers River. This river runs 50 miles inland from Flowers Bay. This stretch of wilderness is accessible strictly by float plane and helicopter. These remote waters provide beautiful scenery, great fishing, and calming solitude. If you're coming for Atlantic salmon, you want to be into the lodge probably between the middle of July to the middle of August. If you're coming for some really good Atlantic salmon fishing and some really good Arctic char fishing and a fly out for some speckled brook trout, then you want to be into the lodge around the middle of August to the middle of September. Got him. Yes, sir. Perfect. Now, I'm, I'm really surprised. Whoa, wee. Whoa, yes, sir. Oh. Whoa. He's not a bad fish. These are the bad ones when they come at you. They leave a lot of slack. <laughs> leave a lot of slack line. Now, as you can see, these fish run right at you. This is the reason why we have large arbor reels. Oh, that was such a great take. Oh, Very gosh, small fly. Wonderful. That was just great. Very small fly. He, oh, yeah. And he got the energy. He's got lots of energy, so he must be a fresher fish. Yes, he must be, yeah, one of the fresher ones. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, the large driver reel is wonderful recovering line. Yes, it is. It uh, much faster. Yeah, because these fish they do they run right at you. Most people know me as a steelheader, but I certainly love these Atlantic salmon fish. The fishing, uh, beautiful fishing, isn't it? Yeah, the fishing is just unbelievable. Such a beautiful place to be. The province is unbelievable, Labrador, Newfoundland. And this is a little bigger fish. He's not bad. He's fighting pretty. Uh... He'd still be considered gross, you say? Yes. Yeah. So that means he's a, he's a first run fish. Yes. And we got him. They make it just great, those gloves. Yeah. Now, if I could get you just to hold the net for me. Yes. And there is a beautiful a grouse. Beautiful grouse. And a male you can see by yeah. the oak beetle. Yeah. Just beautiful. Beautiful fish. It's, it's the thrill. The thrill of it. And away he goes. Atlantic salmon are no different than any other migratory fish in regards to where they will hold in the river. Current seams are a prime area to look for these fish. A current seam is where two currents of differing speeds meet. Water deflecting around a rock will cause these current seams and offer ideal holding places for fish. The rock can be fully submerged and still offer this protection. Now, as you can see, I've run into a real windy situation here, and this can happen a lot in Labrador and Newfoundland. Do yourself a favor, if you plan a trip here, Take the time to go and take a few fly casting lessons. Go on the Federation of Fly Fishers website and find a certified instructor in your area. And do yourself a favor, they're very inexpensive. Take a few lessons, you'll be able to deal with all this wind without the frustration. Now I started off higher up where the camera just was and I'm having a real difficult time with this wind. So I have to change positions, but I have to change positions smartly. Now, we have a rock right here, and I know there's fish on the other side because I took one there. Now, I want to place the rock between me and the fish, but also stay far enough away. Now, this gives me a different angle. I can control my fly, and as you've seen with that last fish, it produced a fish for me. Now, this rock is protecting me from the fish as far as them seeing me. They can't see me because the rock's there. So this is a good position. I don't want to get any closer because the water's clear and Atlantic salmon are not notoriously spooky. Oh. All right. 
dandy. It's a dandy, isn't it? Yeah. Man, they fight great. Yes. <laughs> I believe it's a char. It's a char. He's got a, a red belly, kind of. Yeah, red, yeah. A dandy char. Lovely. <laughs> Quite the fighters. This, uh, I believe, do believe this is my first char, so. Okay. Yeah, never caught it's an artist char, so. Remarkable. Boy, I, I, that was just completely unexpected. Whoa, hello. Ah, let's get him over here. A real kicker. I don't think he's quite ready yet. Oh, that's a small salmon. Is it? Yeah, a small grouse. I believe. Okay. But he's unusually spotted. That's just. Yeah. But oh no. He's been in the river for quite a while. Okay, so that's but a darker fish. But it is a fish. grouse. Yeah. Yeah. I thought at first it was a char. Yeah. Very nicely. Show it to the camera. Oh, isn't that nice? And I'll let you release them. But oh, look at how bright it is. It's been for, for a while. They darken up. Been, uh, yeah, it was a job to tell. But okay, well, well, let's release it. Let's not keep it up too long and down I'll in just, the water. I'll just keep them there. Yeah. The next morning I was asked if I would be interested in trying for some of Labrador's famous Arctic char. I eagerly agreed and after a short pleasant flight we touched down and I could not believe my eyes. And there we go. That one I got. That's a good one. Yes sir. Man, oh man, they don't leap like the Atlantic salmon, but my goodness, they're beautiful. They are strong like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I'm gonna use my net. I'll take it down into shallow water and I'll use my net. But you, you can see that these are absolutely gorgeous fish. Yeah, yeah. And we're taking them with bead heads. Now, the Arctic char here, they call them regulated waters. Well, where we are not regulated, so I don't have to stay with the no weight on my, uh, on my leader rule. And there we go. And flies out. And not extremely large, but my goodness, strong, strong fish. Now, aren't they lovely? Nice pink, beautiful fish. And this water is extremely cold. And away you go. All oh, right. Now that's the first, the first one. There's a school of probably 200 fish there. And all I'm doing, I, I originally put a, an indicator on and it was spooking the fish because the water's so clear. So I had to take the indicator off and go right to the bottom and all I'm doing is watching the end of my line. If the end of my line stops, I set the hook. Well, our family uh, has been in the outfitting business for 40 years in Labrador. And I'm privileged to be walking in the footsteps of my dad. We've been modifying every year. We do something a little different at the lodge. If it's not uh, fixing the premises or uh, bringing in new fiberglass boats, to this year, we've really graduated as stewards to the environment to bring in the solar power. Anywhere from 500 gallons of diesel in a season, we will now consume 11 to 12 gallons of diesel. So each year you're doing something a little different that adds uh, to the life and success of the business. Uh, a lot of the guests this year have been commenting, um, the regular guests that come back and forth, that they don't hear that noisy generator now in the evening. They get to hear the peace and quiet uh, of the river and nature at its best. That's a good one, yeah. You're actually, you, you actually put a little action on the nymph, dragging it yeah. on the bottom, yeah. like it's moving. Yeah, it gave you, a little bit of life to it. Yeah, and, uh, but and those I seen are, your line actually shoot out when he hit. Yeah, 
Yeah, and putting that little weight on that on that line, like you said, Bill, about 18 inches up, that's yeah. the key. Yeah, well, well, that's a really deep hole, so it's yeah. uh, just the bead head itself won't get down there efficiently enough. No, just look at them scatter. Yeah. That's a beautiful looking fish, and these that's fight, a good I fish. mean, this, this, is, this is a fish that, you know, oh, that's coming strong. in to migrate, and uh, they are so strong from the, from the Arctic Ocean. I mean, it's just, let's look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. They fight similar to a, a, a big brook trout to me. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, from the trout family. Yeah. And, um, it's a it's a very pretty looking fish this time yeah. of year. Yeah. And they get more crimson as a, as a, as the month goes on. Yeah. Yeah. You know what better action to come over here with a nice five piece, <laughs> five weight, yeah, rod. And uh, it's it's just so. I mean, this, you know what? That's a, that's look at the rod bent yeah. over here. I mean, this guy means business. Isn't that something? Okay. Yeah, there's some, there's some huge fish. Now, this would be one of the smaller ones, yeah. you're right. Um, and with the water so clear, um, you, you can see them all. Yeah. yeah. That's a beautiful fish, eh? Yeah, it's a lovely fish. We've got to be very careful when we handle the fish, not to touch the gills. Yes. But just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at yeah. the colors on the bottom. Yeah. It's just starting to turn. Right. And they get really bright orange, just like a bag of oranges. Yes. And yeah. It's just, just look at that. It's just wants to go. Swatch. There Your she goes. goes. Yes. Excellent. Great job. <laughs> Excellent. Great job. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for landing that fish. Yeah, no problem. Wonderful job. Well, I think it's your turn. Yeah, okay. I'll give it a shot. Absolutely. It's a fun place to fish, Bill. You got a uh, nice sandy shoreline. <laughs> it's very. Now, you, you must take your your uh, customers that are beginners uh, and people that, that can't move as well as others, you bring yeah. them here? Yeah, you know, you're right. We, we bring a lot of people over to Char Lake and, uh, and it's, uh, it's every bit eight, eight miles uh, mm -hmm. east of the lodge. It's only a five minute flight in the Beaver. And uh, we get an opportunity to fish over some, uh, some wonderful, large Arctic Char. Yeah. And of course, sometimes we get the sea trout mixed in too, which makes it kind of fun. Yeah. But yeah, it's a short walk, as you can see behind me, is the, the beaver, so we haven't got far to walk. Yeah. And we're right here in the stream where we have an abundance of Arctic char. Man, <laughs> and this isn't even a lot of fish, you're telling me. You've had no. many, there, oh geez, I, yeah, I you just had a strike. One. Yep, you've had many bigger runs than this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is an unusual year. We had a lot of high water initially, so we're just sort of scratching our heads, wondering where all the Arctic char are. But this is a uh, this is a small run. This is not a huge run. We normally yeah. see this brook um, fairly full mm -hmm. of, of Arctic char. Look at there's a huge fish in there. Yeah, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. Yes, bigger fish. Than what we've been getting. We've been getting like these three and four pounders. This one is definitely up around six or seven. We got a lot of fish around us. One of the other guests is out near the point there and he's getting fish. So this is an incredible spot Jim has here. There we got him. This is a very, very nice fish. I'm gonna get my white glove out. Beautiful. Very, very lovely fish. Now, look at that, people. This is what coming to Flowers River Lodge is all about. Nice looking char like so. Look at how brightly colored it is. I'm gonna keep him in the water for a minute. Make sure he gets a drink. Very excited, oh, he wants to go. And away he goes, oh yeah. The day continue on with many more Arctic char caught and released. But it was time to head back to a good meal and plan the next day's fishing. We feel that, uh, and our family has been of course in the outfitting business for 40 years. And um, second only to our fishing is our food. And of course, when you have a beautiful airplane like the De Havilland Beaver, that we go back and forth to the lodge every couple, three days, then we bring in fresh supplies, tomatoes, lettuce. Um, but we certainly, we certainly consider our food a pillar to the life and success of the lodge.
When fishing Atlantic salmon, your choice of reel is critical. I've been pushing large arbors for the simple fact as with Atlantic salmon, they run directly at you a lot of times and you must have the ability to pick up the line quickly. A smooth drag. Smooth drag is critical because these Atlantic salmon are hard fighters and they can go 20, 30, and even 40 pounds. So they can really tax your reel. Now, your lines, simply floating lines. That's all they allow you to do with Atlantic salmon is a floating line. No weight on your leader or your fly either, that's regulations. But floating lines are all only what you need. I would recommend bringing a longer bellied floating line that you can cast farther because the Flowers River behind me is quite a large river and sometimes you, you have to cast great distances. This is called Long Beach, isn't it? This is called Calvin's Rock. Calvin's Rock. And the reason why we're here is because uh, normally there's fish that lodge here overnight. And usually you can see them in the early morning if the, winter, if the sun is bright. But what I've happened throughout the night, the bear's been there. And uh, they're pushed off into the deep and to the far side. So I have to make a few longer casts. Ooh, got, got him. Got him. Not too big, yeah, but for, yeah. Oh, Love now he decides yeah. he wants to jump. A dandy. Yes, sir. This is good. I, I, I like this kind of fishing. Dry wow. fly fishing. Now that was like just a sip. That wasn't a usual. No, that was a casual taker. Yeah, kind of. He was just kind of lazily doing it. Wow. Beautiful. Yes, Great sir. Great action. Great action. And good with the. The large arbor reels keeping up with him when he runs to you. Okay, I'm gonna back up a bit. Get him in some shallower water. Oh yeah. Oh, and that oh. he let go. Oh well. well <laughs> we had the pleasure. <laughs> yeah. What can you say? Yeah. Now that was that was intense. Um, I've been casting up. I've been casting down. And the important thing on this was controlling the drift. I didn't want any drag. And what I mean by drag is you get a little a wake behind the fly, you don't want that. You want it is the same as if you threw a marshmallow in the, in the water, the same way it floats, that's what you want with your fly. I'm gonna dry off the fly and we're gonna try that again. The most effective Atlantic salmon flies on this trip were green bombers, brown bombers, orange bombers, green highlanders, and blue charms. The flies that were used for the Arctic char were beadhead copper johns and beadhead prince nymphs. There are two types of rise forms that you will see. The first rise form indicates a fish that is moving through the run and is unlikely to be taken. This is when the fish jumps clearly out of the water and lands with a large splash. The second rise form is subtle. You only see a bulge on the surface or possibly a fin exposed. This is the rise form that will likely produce a fish for you. Got him. Oh, perfect. Got him, yes sir. Oh, and he's running right at me. Oh, fantastic. Oh, lots of work for that fish. I can see him coming up and coming up and coming up. Yeah. And this might be a big fish, he's staying down. Yeah, could be a good one. Could be a good one. Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, a good one. It's a real good fish. This is a good, very, very good fish. He's probably gonna come up one more time. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh big fish, big baby. fish. This is too big for my net. Yes, sir. Would you look at that? Oh. <laughs> that is incredible. Magnificent. 
20 pound Atlantic salmon. Ha, oh, what a fight. What a fight. And he's starting to kick. Ooh. Rubbing the belly. Gets the air bubbles out of the, yeah, the inside. The and it helps with their ballast. Yeah. This one's getting ready. Come on, darling. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Well, great. Oh. What can I say? What can I say? But that was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> that has been a highlight of my fishing career. 20 pound Atlantic salmon. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines and we'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now we're putting up brand new videos all the time, so if you want to be notified when a new one goes up, click that bell icon and it'll come to you as soon as it's uploaded.